Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll learn how to draw trapeziums. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll draw a trapezium, E, F, G, H, so that F, E is parallel to G, H, and angle F, G, H is equal to 65 degrees. Further, the side G, H is equal to 12 centimeters, F, G is equal to 7 centimeters, and F, E is equal to 5 centimeters. Now, in a trapezium, we know that there is one pair of sides that is parallel to each other. Okay, so in this trapezium, E, F, G, H, the side F, E is parallel to G, H. Okay, so let's draw a rough trapezium, E, F, G, H, okay, before we start with the exact dimensions. Okay, so let's say uh, this trapezium has got a side that is G, H, which is equal to 12 centimeters. So, you know, maybe let's suppose that this is G, H, roughly. Okay, so this is G, this is H, and let's suppose that this is 12 centimeters. Then the angle F, G, H, so since G is in the middle, that means the angle will be here. So angle F, G, H is equal to 65 degrees. And if this is F over here, okay, then F, G will be 7 centimeters. All right, now next is FE. FE is parallel to GH. So there is a line that will be parallel to this line, okay? FE, okay? There will be a line FE that will be parallel to this line, which is GH, okay? So now let's suppose that E is somewhere over here because FE is equal to 5 centimeters. All right, now this line is parallel to this line over here. And finally... We will join these two and this over here will be our trapezium. All right, so easy. Okay, now, so let's make this trapezium using the specifications given, okay? So first of all, we'll make this line GH, which is 12 centimeters long, okay? So we take a ruler and we make a line that's 12 centimeters from here to here. So we have 12 centimeters here. Let's call this G H and this is 12 centimeters. All right, now what's next? Well, next we have to drop an angle of 65 degrees at G. So we take a protractor, this one, move it here to G and mark 65 degrees, right? So this is 60. And between 60 and 70, midway is 65. So, mark a point here, then start from G, make a line that passes through 65 degrees, and remove the protractor. Okay, now this over here is 65 degrees, and we know that FG will be equal to 7 centimeters, right? So we use a ruler to mark 7 centimeters from G. So this somewhere over here is 7 centimeters. This one. So this becomes our F, right? So this is where we cut off this line. This becomes F and FG or GF is equal to 7 centimeters. All right, now what's next? Well, next we have to make this line FE because we cannot make any other line. We don't know this angle and we do know this angle actually. This angle will be 180 degrees minus 65, right? Because these two lines FE and GH are parallel to each other. So the sum of angles between these two lines, okay, which will be this angle F and this 65 degrees together, they'll be 180 degrees. So either you can do this, Find angle F, which will be 180 degrees minus 65 degrees, which will give you, what? let's say, 115 degrees. Okay, So either you can take a protractor and mark 115 degrees and drop a line here, and that will be parallel to this line GH, or you can use a set square like this. You can use a set square and make a line that is parallel to this line over here, right? So what I do is I take this set square and I turn it like this, actually, so that it's parallel or aligned with this line GH, okay? So now it's aligned with this line GH, and 
I move it a little bit to this side. Okay. Then I use a ruler. Okay. And the ruler, I will align the ruler with this edge over here of the set square. Right. That's how you do it. Okay, so now the ruler is aligned with this edge of the set square. And let's see, now we'll move the set square up so that it touches this point F. Okay, so you move it along the edge of the ruler. And here you go. You've reached this point F and then you simply draw a straight line along this side of the set square, right? This one over here. All right, so now we remove the set square, we remove the ruler, and what we have got is a line that's parallel to this line, GH. And now we have to mark a point E so that FE is equal to 5 centimeters. So you take your ruler one more time, turn it, okay, like this, put it here, and cut off five centimeters on this line. So here you go. This is five centimeters. Remove the ruler and join E and H to make a straight line. So this is your E. Now this is five centimeters. Now shall we check if this angle is really equal to 115 degrees? Let's do that, okay? So we use a protractor Turn the protractor, place it here. Okay, okay. Now let's see. This line over here, well, it is 110 and this is 115. And there you go. Yes, this angle is equal to 115 degrees. So that's the trapezium EFGH that you've been asked to draw. And that's the end of this lesson. I hope you understood it. And I hope that now you'll go and practice as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.